cold in here today, Mazzy. It's absolutely freezing. <laughs> right, very, very quick video. I think Mazzy thinks, and my mother thinks, this is a bit of a strange video to make. What are you actually going to talk about? It's informative and it can be helpful. I think it's very helpful for people yeah. who are just buying a motorhome for the first time. Yeah. Because when we got one, you were you hear about you have to level your van. You know when you stop, especially when you're wild camping and you're on roads and stuff, you have to have your van level. Why do you have to have your van level? Would you like to tell them that? Well, I'm not 100% sure, but I do know for a fact that I think you had to have it level. You know, you can't be parked on a hill like that and then turn your gas and fridges and stuff on. I don't think they work properly or something. Right, well, I didn't know that. Yeah, I know. I, uh... <clears throat> when, I, when I was planning on making this video, I was just thinking, as long as you're comfortable, yeah. you're all right. But parking like that isn't good for your body or health anyway. That can, you know, no. when, especially when you're sleeping in the bed. True. <laughs> Personally, I don't think a bit of a tilt is a problem. As long as your coffee doesn't spill out of your mug, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't realise about the gas and the fridge mm. thing, so I might be wrong on this. Yeah. Anyway, I just want to run through a few things to level your van. Which is the best, which is the worst. Try a few apps out and give you our advice at the end of it. Are you ready? Let's do this. I'll try and make it interesting. Uh, Entr interesting. I'll try and make it interesting, Mazza. <laughs> Bear with me. So the first thing is the most expensive thing you can get to level your motorhome. We saw these at the show, didn't we? I love this idea. If we could afford to, I'd put that on this. Even before we got a motorhome, we saw this. <laughs> yes. At the N NEC and a few other shows afterwards. It, it's basically... Like stabilisers. It's like, like a hydraulic system, An hydraulic system. An hydraulic system. Basically, sorry, yeah. <laughs> you press a button and these things come down, four yeah. of them, one in each corner of your van, these big four metal things, and they'll level your van up for you at I the think, press of a button. I think it's automatic as well. You haven't got to try and level it yourself. No, I think it's all no, automatic. It's all done at yeah. press of a button. Yeah. Now, brilliant. You know, if you're rich... And you've got money to throw away something like that, yeah. get it. It would be amazing to have that. But it it's like two to five thousand pounds I've been looking this morning. You can buy just the kit for about nine hundred pounds and do it yourself. Oh god. Which I would see as pretty impossible, really. I, I wouldn't want you'd to, have to attempt get, it. You'd have to get the stabilizers <laughs> level. Yeah. Make sure the floor's level. No, I wouldn't yeah. trust anyone to do that apart mm -hmm. from the professionals. So you can get that done, two thousand to five thousand pounds. It's amazing, but it is a big boy's toy and a gadget. It does come with its own problems, actually. I've heard of stories where they've gotten stuck down, and they've not been able to lift them up again. And so, so they come with their own problems as well. Okay, so okay. yeah, not a perfect idea, but a super idea. So that is the big expensive way to do it. Now there's other ways. Can you think yeah. of any others, Mazzy? The way we do it. The way we do it. How yeah. do we do it? On chucks, chucky, chucks, chucks, chucks. chucks. <laughs> Uh, do you want to show them what the chocks are? As I say, this is mainly for people just starting out in motorhoming. Yeah. Um, chocks, let's show you ours, because it's on chocks at the moment. And we still like that. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so there's our chocks. As you can see, we're on the highest part. They go from slim to fat. We're on the highest. And you get two in a pack. I think you only need two to level up. I'm not sure. But that this comes with its own disadvantages too. I'll show you exactly why. We're still actually a little bit on the slant. The chocks doesn't go high enough. You can buy them chocks for about £16 I was looking this morning. Even lower than that if you want really cheap ones. I think Is that for the FEMA brand? The no, that's brand? just any cheap brand. Oh, right. Okay. We got ours at a show, did we? Or did we get them online? Got them in the show. How much? Can you remember? About £30 maybe? Don't know. Ours are FEMA. They come in a nice bag and everything, don't they? Yeah, for some reason we went yeah. for top of the range chocks. I recommend <laughs> them though because, they, you know, you're, you're having your fan on it. If it's cheap plastic, yeah. you've got that chance of it breaking. Yeah. But also, I was just saying, you only get two in a pack. Do you need four? No. 
You don't, just you two. just need two. Just two. Right. And them two can either go on the two front ones, it's depending where you need levelling, yeah? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I suppose the next question is, how do you know if you need to go on chocks, if you need levelling out? Um, how, how well, much? If you, it's just feel, isn't it? When you walk through the van, you can feel whether it's you're feel. walking all over the place. When you park up and you come yeah. into the back, you can tell if there's a lean yeah. that way or that way because you fall over. Or <laughs> you do. can just get like a little ping pong ball, <laughs> stick it on your table and see if it moves. Yeah. There's loads of ways of doing it. <laughs> or let's go into something a lot of people do. Now, this is for... I don't know, people who are a bit too fussy for me. Yeah. It's it's not our thing. Like spirit levels. Spirit, spirit levels. levels. I mean, Get a work. spirit level and make sure your bubbles in the middle uh, going that way and then do it that way and then play around and if you're not happy move to a different pitch <laughs> on the campsite and just don't don't stop. Don't find anywhere to stay for the night until you've found the most perfect level bubble in the middle. You don't need we it. We find when we go to most campsites, a majority, you don't need to get your chocks out. You know, they're hard surfaces and we're fine, but you'll always get the one over there, the old man over there or something. He's been really particular and like you just said, he'll keep moving the van up yeah, and down to yeah. and fro. But, and then before you know it, then he's just give up on that pitch and he's going to another yeah. one. <laughs> you know, I don't think... Being so accurately level is that important. It's not necessary. Unless if it's affecting you walking through the van, Yeah. then it doesn't have to be accurate. Yeah. Don't yeah. get me wrong. We've we've been on chocks on a campsite before. We've done it a few times yeah. when there's been a lean. Slightly. But it's, you feel the lean. You don't need a spirit level. No. If you feel all right, you don't need a spirit level. But... Uh, I've got some apps as well, Mazzy. Yeah, these are cheap. Free. Free, free apps. Free. free. Absolutely free. <laughs> Freer than a spirit level. Uh, I've got two good apps. So if Mazzy can get the uh, camera, I'll, yep. I'll run through these for you. So these are two apps which I have found online. Camper Leveller and Camper Leveller. They've both got the same name. So I'm showing you that so you can see the app pictures to see which you prefer. I will start by showing you this one. No, I'll start with that one. I'll start with that one. Uh, let's see what it does. So here goes. It takes you in here. You press the motorhome button. There is one for caravans as well, which is exactly the same. You press that. Now, can you see each wheel going left to right and forward to back um, as a colour, green, amber or red. So let's put it on the table and as you can see we are not very level at all. I could have told you that. <laughs> <laughs> One of the wheels is alright, the rear passenger side, that's fine. Yeah. The other three aren't. But we knew this, we're on a, we're on a driveway where it's impossible with us chocks to get it perfectly level. But if I lift that up, you see how it's gone to amber and yes. now green? There's a big, a big difference. It's actually 38 centimetres wrong. That's quite a big, big. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a very big, very big, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're very, we're very, very wonky where we are at the moment. So that's, that's one app. Now I'll go straight on to the other one. Camper Leveller again, it's called. I prefer this one. It is so simple, that is all it shows you. It shows you that we're all right, uh, left to right. The front is all right. The back, does it need lifting up a bit at the back? No, it needs lifting up at the front there. But that's not really the front, that's, if you turn No, I'm right, way, I'm right, Mazza. That's, that's the front of the van. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we've we've got a bit of a thing going on here. No, the problem is there. Oh, you've you've confused me now, Mazzy. There, no, there, there, no, there, no, there. Right, that's level. <laughs> it's flashing like a disco ball. Okay, but if you have a look at the phone now to show how unlevel it is with the table. Yeah. Yeah. So we are quite well off here, but we knew that. We knew there was a problem. So these, I think that is a really good app to use, that second one. It's not too... Um, accurate like the other one. It's just red, green or amber. 
If it's red, I think you've got a bit of a problem and maybe you should change it. Amber, you'll get away with. Green. If you get four greens, you're, on a, you're actually parked on a spirit level. Oh yeah, I just got that. I just says I don't think I'm happy with how this video is going. She says, oh, keep your spirits high. <laughs> Spirit level. Anyway. Should we put that on your head and see if you're level headed? <laughs> <laughs> I'll level you in a minute. <laughs> right, anyway. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Go on. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know why I wanted to make a video about this. It's just, I think some people, they just go over the top with levelling your van. But to be fair, when we first got this, we were confused. So it's nice, you know, you learn, you learn by your own mistakes, you learn to what you like and, you know, it depends. You just learn. One thing you? I have found in personal preference, and I think your body needs this, Yeah. I think you, if you are going to be on any kind of slant, you want your feet lower than your head. Of course, yeah. yeah? So you don't want to be yeah. that way down. So I always make sure, if we are on a lean, yeah. his feet are low. Sometimes we do slip out of the bed. <laughs> It's been known. It's been known. Yeah, or you have you're right on top of me, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. if if we're going the other mm -hmm. way, I'm cr <laughs> we're both almost falling out yeah. of her side of the bed. Mm -hmm. It does happen, but as long as it feels levelish, I'm t it's mainly for wild camping. You know, wild when you're on roads and fields and but stuff. There's a thing now with wild camping. We always felt we couldn't get the chocks out. So you had to tolerate wherever you were parked anyway. Yes, if you're parking overnight in car parks yeah. or... Or on the side of a road or something. Yeah, roadsides. You feel uncomfortable being yeah. on chocks, don't you? It's, yeah. like, it's like you're there permanently. Yeah, it's like... Whereas if you're not on chocks, anyone passing <laughs> might just think you've just stopped for five minutes. Mm. Um, but if you're on chocks, they know you're staying there for the night. So we don't like to have them out, do we? No. On, on the roads. <laughs> um, but yeah, personally, I wouldn't use any of the apps. But that second one is a very good one if you know if you really want to be very if level. If you don't want your cup of tea spilling over, yeah. it's a good app. But for us. As long as you've got chocks, just get some chocks. Yeah. That's the main thing, and you can get them from. As I said, ten pounds right up to forty pounds. Get some chocks yeah. and you're fine. So Maz has just been telling me that her auntie never used chocks. Never. She never had. She never owned them. Just went on campsites. Went on campsites. Never had chocks. No. But I would say there's another good reason to get chocks. Yeah. If you've got any problems under your van, you can oh, lift yeah. your van up to have a look underneath for mechanical yeah. problems and stuff. Yeah. They're handy. They're very, very handy. For the handy. price of them, they're worth getting, Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> but as far as a spirit level, I think that's way over the top. Uh, that app, it's a bit of fun, you know, if you want to play with it. Mm. The 2000 to £5,000 things, amazing if you're millionaires, yeah. get it. If you're not, uh, spend it on something a bit more practical. Just use your noddle. Use your noddle. Yeah. Stay level-headed, as Mazzy yeah. said. <laughs> Unless if you like the drunk feeling, then just stay like that. Yeah, I often do that as well. You know, if I've run out of beer, <laughs> yeah. I'll go for the biggest hill and just park there for tonight. <laughs> it works, it works, especially if you're not level that way and that way. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, just thought yeah. we'd put this out there, talk about levelality. Levelality. Is that a word? <laughs> Levelality. Um, we'll see you all in the next video. Have a good night. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye. Stay level <laughs> Go on. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.